Hi everybody, it's Tiana, and if you are new to this channel, I want to kind of introduce you to what's going on here. Um, I am an Etsy shop owner, and I'm documenting my shop relaunch. So back in 2015, I first launched Winding Wick Candle Co., and that was just my little candle store. It eh, kind of was okay, didn't really do much, a little hobby. Um, and then I had my son in 2017 and I closed my shop. I closed everything. I didn't think I was ever going to return to making candles. So I kind of reopened recently and actually exactly one month ago I made a video where I talked to you about my sales that I got as my rebranded Winding Wick candles. Um, so last month I got two sales. Gosh. They are doing roof work next door while I'm trying to film this, I'm sorry. So last month, I got two sales, and I was so excited. I got two sales. I got a sale on Etsy and a sale on Amazon, and I did a video about how I got my first sales, I believe. I'm not sure how long in between launching and that, those first sales. I think it had to be a couple of weeks. So in a couple weeks of launching, two to three weeks, I think, I got my first sales. So I was uh, so excited about that, and I kind of wanted to update you guys about what, uh, where I'm at now, a month, exactly a month later, and I want to tell you what I did to get there. And I am going to be revealing, ooh, my coffee, how much revenue I got, and that is just for the purpose of encouraging others, and I mean, it's not even like a lot, a lot, but to me, it's an accomplishment. And I just want to let you guys know that um, I know some people don't like to share the revenue or whatever. I don't mind because this is just for the purpose of others um, who are starting Etsy shops and um, just to kind of get an idea and all of that. So I'm going to check my phone right now. I got a couple orders today. So right now in my Etsy store I have six open orders. But in the last 30 days, I have had 92 orders and a revenue of $2,234 on Etsy. So pretty much within you guys seeing that video, like exactly a month ago, I went from two orders to 92 orders on Etsy. That is insane. I I didn't even think that was going to be possible. Um, I don't know, it's just really cool, and I'm actually in the process of um, getting more stock to Amazon because I've been so busy with Etsy that I've kind of haven't had time for Amazon. So my mom, I'm actually going to pay her to come in tomorrow to help me um, package and get things going to Amazon. So I kind of want to tell you guys how I got there. Um, and uh, to this point and all of that so that can help people and um, it's really interesting my scenario because as a previous shop I can kind of tell you guys what I've done differently from when I first opened in 2015 to now back then I would get maybe maybe like two sales so nothing consistent never made the front page of anything um, so I want to show you guys the strategies that I've been doing or tell you about so let's start off before even launching a product. I have been doing product research before I even create the product. So I use Marmalade.com, which I will link down below. This tool is so valuable. I think it's about $15 a month and you get a seven day free trial. But this helps me discover keywords. And before I never used to think about keywords and all of that and what people are searching for. But I have a video um, that I'll also link down below about how I use Marmalade if you're more interested in that. But basically I'm able to see what people are searching for, what time of the year they are searching for it, um, how much competition there is. I can look at all of those stats before I even create the product. So that is what I have been doing. And um, it is paying off you guys. My sorting hat candle and now my unicorn candle, which I just launched. 
Um, I did product research on these things before and I even put them together. So this is my unicorn dreams candle. Apparently people search for unicorns and there's not much competition when it comes to unicorn candles. So that is kind of something I made and plus I wanted to make something pastel and cute and with a macaron on top. I love it. So yeah. Um, that is what I've been doing, product research before I do anything else. The next thing, product development. So if I'm going to try to rank for unicorn candles, um, you know, I want to make sure people are clicking. I want to make sure that I'm getting good reviews. I don't want to rush anything out. So I want to make sure that product is going to be great. So I want to really spend my time and test and um, think about how I can make it unique and make it stand out. And so just, you know, that bit of just making a good product. If you're really going to try to rank for something on Etsy, um, you know, just throw something together and put it out there. Just really take your time. So that's something I've been thinking about as well. Um, so after that, I want to go into product photos. So I also have a video about how I show you guys how I take my product photos. And it is very inexpensive. I don't have anything fancy. I do have like an umbrella light um, and of course a camera. I have my DSLR that I've had for probably five years or more. But that is what I use um, to take my product photos. And I use free editing software. I don't have Photoshop. I use iPicky.com. Um, which I'll link down below as well. So those are the things I use to take photos. So taking a good photo and the key to that is taking many photos. So before I would take maybe one to two photos of my product and that was it. Mainly just one photo honestly. One photo. Um, but Etsy encourages you to get those product photos, get every angle, get lifestyle shots, get different backgrounds and it's going to take a lot of time for you to set up your, your products in different scenarios and backgrounds, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So go ahead and um, just practice photography because we're not all professional photographers, but we can try our best and just get really nice photos out there um, so people will click. So what I've also noticed with Etsy is to the first photo, um, do like a lifestyle photo, do something where um, you know, don't do just white backgrounds because those don't really catch the eye. So try to do like a neutral background but, but kind of set the product up in a real life scenario um, on a desk or near books or wh whatever is relevant to your product. Um, but on Amazon they kind of want you to do a white background. So keep that in mind when you're doing your product photos to the white background and do your lifestyle shots. Do something where you can kind of like get like a scale like scale it like oh it's in my hand or something like that okay so now I want you guys to pay attention to the listings so I also have a video that I can link for you guys how convenient on how to do product listings so I'm definitely not an expert but these are the things that I have done to make my shop grow in this one month time when you create your listing maybe tell a little bit of a story about it make it capture them don't just say this smells like a uh, creme brulee candle you know uh, but don't go too crazy just make a good listing um, also in your listing you want to put keywords so I've heard some debate on people saying that putting keywords in your listing doesn't help you rank on Etsy but I would do it anyway just to be safe so like if your keyword is unicorn candles um, I would put that keyword in the title and then I would also put it in the listing uh, because you never know, that could also help you on the Google side of things. So maybe that keyword may not work for Etsy, but Google will also maybe recognize that as some kind of SEO. So I would just pay attention to putting keywords in your listing as well. So that's what I've been doing. I don't know if that has helped me at all any, but I would suggest trying to do that. And another thing that has really helped me, um, I believe, is promoted listings. So I was very scared of promoted listings back in 2015 because I had no idea what I was doing. I was putting like a dollar a click thinking that if I put a dollar that that will make my product come on the front page or whatever. 
not true. Um, you don't want to go crazy with promoted listings from what I've seen um, and what I've been researching. You want to set your bid uh, manually because the automated bids tend to go pretty high. Like I was doing an um, automated bid for my unicorn candle and it was asking me um, that I needed to do like 92 cents per click. I'm not paying 92 cents for someone to click on that that little um, listing, you know? So I typically, I'm trying to stay around 23 cents and under. That might seem high to some people, but I'm just still testing myself. I'm not a professional at promoted listings because now Etsy has the search analytics where you can see um, if people are clicking on your items through search. And I'm starting to see that people are clicking on my items through search, not promoted listing, and I'm starting to get revenue through search, which is good because now I'm not paying for promoted listing, but um, I just kind of want to taper down my promoted listing. I don't know. I have been doing promoted listings and I'm definitely not a professional, but um, it works for me. And I would suggest um, testing out promoted listings and doing manual bids. But yeah, that is kind of my shop update. You guys, my one month update from my last video. That's ridiculous that I would have never imagined this many sales in one month. But I am very happy and I'm getting a lot of great reviews. And I'm just so excited to be rolling so many things out. But um, yeah, make sure you guys uh, subscribe if you want to see more um, update videos and what I'm doing and all of that. And also follow my social media links, um, Winding Wick Candles on Instagram, Winding Wick Candles on Facebook, and Winding Wick on Twitter. I'm most active on Instagram. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye!